Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Do you ever wish you could afford your own makeup trim case with lights for cheap? Why spend $350 to $1800 on a trim case when you can customize your own? Well, in this video, I will show you how to make your own makeup trim case with LED lights under $50. LED lights are cool to the touch and you don't have to worry about burning yourself like traditional light bulbs. Before we start, there will be quite a few items you'll need for this project. Don't go out and purchase everything you see in this tutorial. Ask your family or friends if they have these items available for you to borrow or use. Or maybe you might just have them already in storage. Before we start, please make sure to ask for help if needed, since it can get technical with wiring. But there is no right or wrong way of doing it. Be creative and be resourceful. Let's get started. Items you'll need are a briefcase of your choice or even from the thrift store. LED lights. Try to find the LED lights that already comes with a 12 volt adapter. This will save you time wiring. 11 inch plastic frame mirror from the Dollar Tree. Cable ties. Multimeter. Electrical tape. Wire cutter. 12 volt DC power adapter. Razor blade. Phillips screwdriver wire crimper, self-tapping screws, E6000 glue, butt connectors, toggle switch, toggle bracket of any choice, hot glue gun, and a power drill. First step is I'm going to go ahead and use a razor blade and I'm going to trim around the packaging of the LED lights. Just make sure that you're super careful that you don't cut into the wire. So just make sure to just take your time. It might be a struggle a little bit because the switch is mounted on there pretty good. I'm just testing to make sure that it still works after I took it out of the package. Next step is to take out the frames off the mirror. And again, just be careful that you don't break the mirror during this process because that is the most important part of this project. After the frames are all taken out, you want to clean it to make sure there's nothing on it before you place the LED lights on there. The LED light does come self-adhesive so that way um, it sticks right onto the mirror and you don't have to worry about gluing it in place. The next step is to convert this LED strip battery operated into a 12 volt power supply. I'm using a multimeter turning to DC mode. This will tell me which one is the negative and positive wire where I can cut it. I'm now going to be using the multimeter reader. The red is for positive and the black is for negative. This is to tell which one is the correct wire to attach to the new toggle switch. And by measuring this, it will give me a reading of 12 volts. So that is what I'm looking for. So right now I'm just measuring to see if I'm getting 12 volt so I can tell the difference between each wire. And you could skip this step if you don't want to convert the system into a 12 volt DC adapter supply. I found out the right side is the positive wire and then the left side is the negative wire. Next step is to cut the wire at the base where the battery unit is located. You're going to go ahead and now take your wire cutter and you're going to snip the positive wire first. You want to do one wire at a time that way you don't confuse which wire is which wire. Next step is to use a crimper wire to crimp the positive wire. You want to make sure that you do leave enough wire exposed because you're going to be connecting that wire that you crimped to a blue butt connector. The next step is to use one of the butt connector and insert it into the wire that you cut it. At this point, we're going to go ahead and crimp that in place so that we can connect that wire to another wire. Next step is to cut the 12 volt adapter. You want to take a wire cutter and snip the end piece off because that is where you are going to go ahead and split the adapter wire to attach to the butt connect wire that you just crimped it. And you want to use a wire cutter and split that in half. 
Um, that way you can tell the difference between which one is the negative or positive wire. We're going to go ahead and try to find the positive wire. I'm now taking a wire crimper and I'm stripping the wire. That way it gives me more room to connect that to the butt connectors that we just recently worked. To on. test which wire is positive and negative on the 12 volt DC adapter, plug in the cord on the other end of the cord to the wall outlet and then use a multimeter again. Try not to have both wires touch each other, which you may start a fire. Ask for help at this point if needed. Once you figure out the wire, unplug the adapter off the wall outlet. The positive wire has a white stripe and then the negative is a solid block. You then want to use a wire crimper and strip both positive and negative wire, allowing the copper wire to expose to be connected to the butt connectors. To connect both wires together in place, you will now use the wire crimper backing to crimp both wires in place. This will allow both wires to become one. Next step, you are going to work on the toggle on and off switch. As for the toggle switch, you don't have to worry about looking for the positive or negative wires. Both wires are identical. You want to snip the end of the connection and split the wires in half with the wire cutter. Next is to strip both toggle wires until you have enough copper to expose for connection. Press both wires by folding and twisting them to be butted to the 12 volt butt connectors. Next, you want to connect both toggle wires onto the 12 volt butt connectors and this will complete all the wiring process. Once you are done connecting all the wire, it's now time to test out the LED lights to see if it's working properly. After all the butt connectors and everything are all connected, we are now going to test the unit out. And it works. It is optional to wrap the butt connectors and all the wires with electrical tape. This will just give it an easier, cleaner look. Next, we are going to install the toggle switch to the bracket of your choice. First, we are going to unscrew the bolt from the switch carefully without messing up the on and off labels. You then want to place the toggle switch knob underneath the bracket hole and then place the bolt on top of the screw and screw it in. Once the toggle switch is tightly secured in place, you can now find a good area in the briefcase where you want to mount the bracket. By using self-tapping screws, you're now going to go ahead and drill the screws by using the power drill at this point. You can skip this step if you like. After the bracket is secure in place, you're going to now zip tie or wire all the cables together and tuck all the wires inside the bracket. To hide all the wire, use the razor knife and cut along the edges of the back of the gray foam to hide the wires. To secure the wire, use a hot glue gun to help seal it. Next, we're going to use electrical tape to seal the bracket so it looks polished and clean. Next step is to flip the briefcase upside down to glue the mirror. Go ahead and eyeball where you want to place the mirror and then use the E6000 glue. I recommend leaving the mirror laying upside down for 24 hours. After waiting for the glue to dry overnight, the case is now completed and ready to be used. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching.